For fans of the Edmonton Oilers, this won't be a surprise. But for everybody else, you're going to learn today. Because by the numbers, Zach Hyman has not only been one of the best Oilers, he's been one of the best forwards in the entire NHL this season. Let's take a closer look. Hey, hockey fans. I'm Josh. This is the Hockey Flow, the place that wishes it could grow a mullet like McDavid. Please consider subscribing and be sure to smash that like button harder than a dry sidle one-timer. I appreciate you either way. The NHL season is over halfway through. We're quickly approaching the All-Star break. You know what? We finally have a big enough sample size that I can finally come out and just say it. By the numbers, Zach Hyman is one of the best forwards in the NHL today. Yes, sorry Maple Leafs fans, that Zach Hyman. As I said earlier, for fans of the Edmonton Oilers, this isn't news. Since day one, Hyman has had an impact with this team. But for everyone else, you might be ready to click away. But you know what? I know I said by the numbers, but this just isn't an analytic thing. This is actual production, what my peepers are telling me, and analytics all saying the same thing. That Zach Hyman is one of the best forwards in the NHL today. So let's go through each of these, shall we? First up, we have production. So for this section, we're going to throw it back and just look at your normal standard production stats. We do so with help from Hockey Reference, and we can see that Hyman is in the midst of a career year pace in every major category. That's right, every major category. Goals, assists, points, shots, even plus minus for those who are into that sort of thing. And what's even better, his shooting percentage. His shooting percentage is not astronomically high, but it is right in line with his career average. If anything, this is what confidence in your game will do to your shooting percentage. It will raise it up just a little bit. So Hyman checks the box from a production standpoint. His 60 points after Saturday's game versus the Blackhawks ranks him 11th in the NHL amongst all players. Thanks, Money Puck. And that's not counting the amount of goals Hyman has had disallowed this season. Oilers fans, you know what, I'll, what I'm talking about. But what about the eye test? We've got production. Let's move on to the eye test. I've learned that data, it can be misleading sometimes. For example, Oilers fans, Evan Bouchard. I know we're a big fan, but earlier this season, he was one of our worst defensemen by the eye test. He was turning the puck over, making terrible decisions, and honestly, his offensive production was nowhere where it needed to be. There was a time where he couldn't even get a shot off without it being blocked. But you know what? He's gotten better. And the analytics through that entire time actually said he was our best defenseman. I would disagree with that, but that's a different discussion. Now with Zach Hyman, that's never been the case. The analytics and the eye test, they match up. So we do see with Hyman, a lot of his goals are coming from right around the net. He has actually developed as an excellent net front, front presence for this Oilers team and has had to do work for his goals. He has put in the effort each and every time and he is being rewarded for it. That is what I love about Hyman. He's not going to dazzle you with speed or skill like McDavid, nor is he going to smash the one-timer home like uh, Dreisaitl, but he is going to make the right play He's going to bang the puck in around the net when he needs to, and he makes everyone around him better. From an eye test perspective, I think Hyman is passed with flying colors. If anything, I think he's been a little bit unlucky. And you know what? The analytics, they might just agree with me. We love our analytics here at the Hockey Flow. Your eyes, they help you see. But your heart, your heart can sometimes create a bias. We're human after all. I'm an Oilers fan. Talking about my favorite team, my favorite players, there's going to be a little bit of a bias. So that's why we look at the analytics because the analytics, they remove the bias. So sometimes we're gonna look just at the analytics and see what they tell us. And in terms of Zach Hyman, they're telling me a few things. First up, it's telling me that Zach Hyman has been the absolute best player in the NHL in regards to expected goals. 
Courtesy of Money Puck, we can see that as of January 29th, Zach Hyman leads the NHL in expected goals with just over 35. That means if everything went according to plan, as expected, Zach Hyman would have 35 goals this season. That would be good for top five in the NHL right now. This tells me though, that Hyman has actually been a little bit unlucky. And we love it when the data actually matches what we see. But it's not just his expected goals that stands out for Hyman this season. Thanks to Dom and Shayna with The Athletic, we can see Hyman's analytic impact in terms of his game score value added, which is then equated to a market value. Terms we can understand. The higher game score value added, the better the player is performing in terms of this model. And according to The Athletic, through last Monday, Zach Hyman is posting an incredible 4.3 game score value added, with his market value coming in at $13 million a season. $13 million a season is superstar money. We can also see the different factors that make up the overall game score value, uh, value added. With this model, we can see that his offensive production has been off the charts. Hyman actually grades out in the 100th percentile. So I know when we're talking at the upper echelon, you do get separated by just a few percentage points. So if Zach Hyman grading out in the top 100% makes absolute sense with that expected goal number being where it is. Now defensively, we see that Hyman doesn't grade out fantastically, but that's okay. That's not what the Oilers need Hyman to be. Hyman kills penalties when asked, and he's very serviceable defensively five on five. And you know what? The last piece that we're gonna look at with the analytics is in regards to Hyman in making his teammates better. So playing on a team with Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl can cause folks to think that they're doing it all, right? It's the Connor McDavid show. Well, not so fast, my friends. Thanks to Hockey Viz, we can see that Hyman actually makes his teammates better in terms of expected goals for versus expected goals against. Love these charts. Everything in red is without Hyman. Those are his teammates when he is not playing with them. And we clearly see that every player listed is expected to allow more goals while also scoring less goals. All while Hyman, his stats, they pretty much stay the same no matter who he is playing with as illustrated by the blue and black areas of this chart. This is clearly not only a production of playing with superstars. Zach Hyman, is the real deal. So from an analytic perspective, Hyman, he is one of the best forwards in the NHL today. Okay, so we've taken a look at Zach Hyman's season to this point through three different lenses. We looked at his standard production, check. We looked at the eye test, check. We looked at the analytics, we removed any bias. And I tell you what, what does it all tell us? Well, what we knew all along, Zach Hyman is one of the best forwards in the NHL today, and the Oilers, they're lucky to have him. Oh, and he's also a children's book author and an overall great guy. That's going to do it for the video today, hockey fans. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Consider subscribing if you haven't, and be sure to smash that like button. Check out the other videos if you haven't. Pavel Minchukov over here, absolutely fun video there. But I do appreciate you all. Until next time, hockey fans, cheers!